Hello YouTube, today we are going to look at the Instant Backpack Swapper. Uh, it's another script I wrote, just like all the other ones. I I know you guys have been enjoying those videos and a lot of you have requested this one. How do I move all these items before I use my mana boots or stuff like that. So I figured it out and what we're going to do is use a script that actually moves our mouse for us way faster than you humanly could and drags items around your backpack and presses the hotkeys for you and you just you'll see it's pretty great um what we're gonna do is hop into a demo's axe and i'll let you know what i'm talking about so you can understand this a little better so axe is ready level to max grab your tranquil boots to the so what happens to make way. is if you Who attack an enemy this goes to 13 seconds Admiral. right um a lot of you know that Enemies and need to avoid that is what people do is they move this into their backpack right before they attack and then move it back Axe right charges. after they attack. So let's say I did this, attacked him, moved it back. In a game that's going to be a 6 second cooldown. Since I'm in a demo it's going to be instant, but you guys get the point. Axe it's a lot run. faster, it saves you about 6 seconds every time and if you're doing it throughout the entire game then you're going to be saving a lot of health and movement speed Axe too because these give you bonus movement speed. So there's that. Um, I'm going to put it in this last slot because I used that the run. least. That's what I'm going to start with for the Axe video. Um, I'm going to do a second part where I'm doing Omni Knight and I'm moving a bunch of items and getting mana back so I can better demonstrate. But So I'm going to hop out of Dota and go into my script folder. And I have a bunch of them here. Um, I'm going to right click and create a new auto hotkey script. If you can't see that, then you're probably not going to autohotkey.com and you need to install this and run run the install file walk through it press express settings and you're good to go and it'll that will pop up if you haven't seen that already and to run your run these scripts a lot of people have asked you just right click run script or double click on them um so you're going to make your new script i call the instant backpack swapper this will also be on my media fire you can check that out online but i'm just going to edit mine that i already have so here it is. It's a little bit lengthier than a lot of my scripts, but I'll explain. I'll just walk through it. I'm not going to code this one out with you guys, but I'll show you what I'm doing. So this is all stuff that's in every script. This is just the prereqs for it to make it run and blah blah whatever. It doesn't matter. So ignore this. Just copy and paste it from me. Um, you'll see that in almost every script. There's something like this at the top. You don't really need to know what it does. Um, this is important. Chord mode mouse. So this makes it so we can use uh, coordinates on our screen. To move our mouse around and we're gonna set the default speed at 2 I found that 0 was too fast for the game to handle so sometimes you'd see the mouse flicker on your screen but nothing would happen in the game so I'm gonna stick with 2 um, looks the most legit to me I like it that way so we're gonna do that then make a variable just make it 1 that's just we'll use this later in an if statement basically um, if a lot of you don't understand that just you'll see in a little bit so this is just stuff I mapped out using my um, click test script that's also going to be in my media fire. So download that and run that and I'll show you what it looks like. So um, double click on click test and then basically if you press the X key on your keyboard it's going to show you where your mouse is located on your screen. So let's close out of everything, press X. The cursor is at X904Y374. So that's your coordinate. So you're going to write that down. Um, so go into game into wars teeth and then you're gonna go press X at each location so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine and write them down on a piece of paper or in a notepad document I don't care I did it in my notepad so if I press X right here it pulls me out of the game and shows this and I made it so you could it would always be on top so you can type it in real quick and then it's gonna disappear in 10 seconds and you can do it again um, yeah, it just disappeared. So do that for each column and row and mark it down so you remember. But I put the the third row's backpack and it's that's the coordinate. You can also use my coordinates, they're right here. Um I'll put those in the description too, I guess. And once you know those, we'll get going. So I'm gonna close out of the script. And then So we're gonna start with a slot one script that's gonna click down on the tranquil boots if they were in slot 1 and move them down to the backpack. So click down, that's the 
code for it. And then that position is column one, row one. See that X, Y. So that's the first slot. And then to return it, the item back when you when you want to, it's going to be the opposite. So you just copy and paste the click down coordinate into the click up and then the click up coordinate into the click down. You can see how they kind of flip flop. And that's it. That's how you do the mouse movements from one slot. So it's pretty much the same thing for each slot. Obviously the coordinates just change. So we went slot 2, slot 3, slot 4, slot, fly, slot 5, excuse me, slot 6, and then this is where the actual script uses all that stuff we just made. So we're gonna, I made it V, that's the key that I usually use for this backpack slot in game. This Tranquil Boots is in slot V. This is like D, X, C, D. Ah, it's not even slot V. I'm, I lied. It's slot N. But it doesn't matter. I have it set to V. Rest is but it'll for still the work. Dead. So, you know what? I'll move it. I'll, sh I'll show you guys what it would Do look battle. like. So, this is slot V for me, like it should be. Another thing that's super important, guys, is make sure you have quick cast turned on for all of these. That This will be more important for the Omni Knight one. Right now, you could have them on cast too, I guess. It doesn't really matter. But when we get to the Omni Knight mana boot thing, you're going to want quick cast on all your items or whatever hotkey the, uh, the mana boots is in. So, like, mine are going to be right here in Z. I know that. And then... You don't have to worry about abilities for this video, which is great. So, Good day to fight. let's say it's V, and I want it to move from slot four, one, two, three, four, down to backpack slot one. So, V, and then we're gonna say if variable equals one. This is the if statement I talked about earlier. It's gonna call the function slot whatever slot it's in. I said four. We're gonna say slot four, and then the two little um, brackets for I mean it's just a function. Don't worry about that. Then we're going to set the variable back to zero so that next time it runs, if you click V again, it'll return the item back. That's with this else statement right here. So um, now we're going to type in return slot and then same thing, four. So it's going to send it down. And then if you click the key again another time, it'll send it back. So I, I had it so that you had to click a different key with my mouse to send it back before, and I didn't like that. I figured out a way to do it. So it just use the simple if else and you can just keep clicking the key over and over the same key and it'll send it back and forth. So I'm going to save that, file save, and then I'm going to run it. And then you'll see it running down in your um, tray. Then go into Dota. Axe run. If I click V, there you go, it's instant pretty much. And I can just keep clicking V over and over. Look at that, it works perfect every time, you'll never mess it up. You're not going to have to go drag it and might miss out on something up here. And the coolest teeth. part is if I have my mouse on X in game and I want to keep attacking him without going down here, moving this down, moving this back up, and then clicking on Taste him again, I can keep my mouse here and the script will actually move my mouse down and then back up too. You can see it just returns the mouse position right to where it was. So I can, almost like, I can pretty much go to hit him, move it so fast. Uh, you can do it during Axe's animation. Look at that. Not on cooldown. But if I do it like this, they are on cooldown. Pretty sweet. Um, I think it's pretty cool that we can just do that. And that's really important for when we go to Omni Knight. And we have to move three items, click a key, and then send them back. And it's... I'll just do that right now. It's pretty easy. So, Omni Knight. You can use this with any hero. It doesn't have to be on your night. And you can obviously change what slots you want to use. So what I'm going to do to really demonstrate this to you guys is level me to max. And I'm going to level Axe up a little bit. Give him some... I'm going to give him a Diffusal Blade to burn my mana. And some Hyper Stones. Or Moon Shards, whatever. I'm going to have him burn all my mana away. There you go. I am needed. And we need... I probably don't, should have done that in a different Soul order, but it doesn't matter. Um, what else do I have? Other ones? Okay. So what I'm going to do is have the script move the four staff, the ags, 
and the other ones back into my backpack, then click Guardian Greaves, and then send them back so you I get the most point. mana out of it. So you can see that right here, watch. If I just click Guardian Greaves, my mana goes up to 180, just about. Flanking. I'm gonna refresh it, do the same thing. But this time I'll use the script. I'll get it down to zero. I'm gonna press Z. Up to My 280 right away. Clear. So, makes a huge difference and it saves tons of mana. And you can do, obviously your limit's three items because you only have three backpack slots, but one even if you only one. have an eggs and you wanna move the eggs out, obviously you just remove the other slots and just do, it move the eggs. Yeah, that was a little weird because I didn't change it, but you get the point. Be something like this. Not yet. Um. So yeah, that's it, guys. I mean, pretty simple. Um, I didn't go too in depth this video. Um, let me know if you want me to code it out in front of you line by line. I can do that. It's not a problem. It's just this script was a little bit repetitive. I mean, I, as you can see, it's just changing coordinates in each one. If you understand the coordinates and the variable and the if else, then the script's pretty self-explanatory um you can obviously adjust it however you want as you can see i did it earlier i changed it from slot six to four and you can change this key right here you can change this to z oh it's stored on my script whoops exit you can change this to z and then you can make it move slot one to slot one um let's get rid of this make that v or something and then I'll run it again just to show you one more time. What did I do? B. Ah. Whoops. Guiding light. Oh, there you go. Now I can move Z down and up from slot 1. And if you really wanted, say you had an item in your backpack, like let's say you had a, um, a moon shard in there or whatever, yes. and you want it to go to slot 2, you could make it so it would swap this into slot 2. Slot 2. Jeez, I cannot talk today. So it'd be slot 1 to slot 8. And My journey on. that'd be like this. I'll do one more. Last time, so you guys can understand it a little better. Um, lot one. Hmm, I don't even think about that. So I right now the way I've got it set up is it's actually Actually, only gonna be able to go straight down, and you'd have to go into the coordinates on slot one, change it to this coordinate instead of this one. And it's doable. Uh, if any of you have trouble with that, let me know. I can help you out. But that'll have to be in the description or comments or whatever. Can't do it right now. It's just pointless for me to do since I'm going to be uploading the script just how it is for you guys to test it out and mess with it and figure it out for yourselves. So, right away. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Um, I love doing these videos. I can keep them coming. I'm figuring out more and more about these, the scripting. I wasn't very good when I started, and I'm learning how to do all kinds of crazy things. I had In no idea I could move my actual mouse with a script. That's really new to me, but I'm a noob. Um, but I'm figuring it out, so. Forward, much. That's it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want. Um, see you later.